Yo, what's up, boys and girls? It's Fox, and I'm back at it again with another video. Some little bit today. Welcome back to another hero combo kitchen. We've been cooking up some nice and seasoned hero combos here in the combo kitchen. I have two nice and easy OTKs that you guys can perform with this deck. The deck profile I profiled not too long ago in the links in the description down below or somewhere on the screen. I'm sure all that YouTube jazz will let you know where it's at. But I've been seeing some combos and some OTKs with things like Boral Sword Dragon, with things like four and five card combos, and I'm gonna here to tell you, you don't need that. All you need is two, maybe three cards to really get some things going. I'm gonna teach you how to do it with a completely open board um, with the least re amount of resources possible, and then I'm gonna teach you how to do it when your opponent has monsters on board and you want to help swing over them. Now these two combos are fairly easy to do and also it doesn't really require a whole lot to do other than your normal setups that you'll be already doing if you're going first combos. So if these things go uninterrupted, again, like are most of the combos here in the combo kitchen, then you'll pull out the W and that sweet, sweet win. But if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like. If you want some more, please subscribe to our videos coming in the pipeline, so stay tuned for that. And let me know what you guys think of this combo. Let me, let me know what you guys think of any other combos you guys can think of inside the comment section down below. And if this video gets, I don't know, let's say like 50 likes, I might drop a secret, secret hero video I've been working on. And I didn't necessarily want to release this video, but you guys have been tempting me and have been asking me to make this video. So if this video gets 50 likes, then I'll drop that secret hero video. So let's go ahead and get right into this combo. Require two cards here. Now you don't necessarily need Shadow Mist, but it makes it a little bit easier. Stratos and Shadow Mist inside of your hand. Let's go ahead and get to it. So activate your Stratos, go ahead and normal send that onto the board, activate its effect to add to your hand one copy of your Vision Hero Ferris. Vision Hero Ferris is part of the new support for the Vision Heroes that dropped not too long ago inside the Battles of Legends Heroes Revenge. Great set and these cards are amazing with the Vision Heroes. Speaking of which, go ahead and activate Vision Hero Ferris' effect inside of your hand, discarding Shadow Mist and special summoning this card out onto the field. So now we have Vision Hero Ferris and Stratos on the board, Shadow Mist inside of Graveyard, and this is the important part. So because Shadow Mist, Shadow Mist, because Shadow Mist can be Ash Blossomed and Ferris cannot because Ferris puts inside the spell and trap code and not special summon from the deck, then you want to chain block your Shadow Mist. Make sure you get that search off. You want to activate Vision Hero Ferris as Chain Link 2 and Shadow Mist as Chain Link 1. That's very important. So Shadow Mist inside the graveyard here, you're going to activate the Ferris effect and you're going to place your Vision Hero increase inside of the spell and trap zone. Vision here increase right here. It allows you to tribute monsters. We'll get into that a little bit later. Shadow Mist is going to then search one copy of Elemental Hero Honest Neo. It's going to help you get a little bit of damage boost and a little bit of stuff off for your OTK combo. Now, activating Vision Hero increases effect. You're going to tribute off your Ferris and not your Stratos in this in this scenario, but you might do it in another scenario, and activate its effect. So when it special summon from the spell or trap zone to a monster zone, then you can special summon a Vision Hero from your deck to the field. So go ahead and go for your Vision Hero Vion. Vision Hero Vion then is gonna activate its effect to send to the graveyard one copy of Destiny Hero Malicious. Pretty standard hero stuff for the most part, nothing too out of the ordinary, including that we're gonna activate Vision Hero Vion's effect to banish Shadow Mist from our graveyard. And that's going to allow us to search to our hand one copy of Polymerization. Polymerization is gonna become fairly useful sometime soon, allowing us to go into our bigger bodies of our hero monsters. So first things first, we're going to take the board we already have here, Vision Hero Vion, and Vision Hero Increase, Stratos, and work with that. We're gonna take Vision Hero Vion and Increase because they are the two weakest of our heroes. Put those inside the graveyard and special summon from our extra deck one copy of Extra Hero Cross Crusader. Cross Crusader, AKA Cross Guys, great down points and arrows, an amazing effect. You're gonna activate whenever you, this guy gets special summoned, you're going to then uh, special summon from your graveyard, one copy of Destiny Hero Malicious or Destiny Hero Monster that you can. That's actually really great. Honestly, from this point on, you can activate the effect and it's still get off the, uh, the searching effect and have a pretty great board as is. But just to make it really simple, we're gonna activate polymerization at this stage fusing our Destiny Hero Malicious and our Elements of Hero Stratos and to form Vision Hero Adoration. Vision Hero Adoration now on the board, 2800 body and a 1600 body. You might be asking yourself, Swox, this is an OTK. What you, what's going on? Well, first things first, last, first things first, almost last things last actually, go ahead and banish your Destiny Hero Malicious from your graveyard to get that extra special summon from your deck, the 
second copy of Destiny Hero Malicious and special summon that onto the board. Now, essentially what you're going to go into now is you're going to go into your Dread Decimator. Link these two off for a Link 3 and go into your Vision, or sorry, Vision Hero, Extra Hero, Dread Decimator. Dread Decimator is pretty sweet because what it allows you to do is gains 100 attack points to, um, to itself and anything it points to for each different named hero monsters in your graveyard. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. That is six different named hero monsters inside the grave. And now you can also make it seven if you decided to pop the militia, pop the malicious with the um, with a, a cross crusader and get an extra surge, yada yada, add a little extra attack points. But right now, if you have an open board, you're free to go. You have just you have just a little over enough to do 8,000 damage. So we have Dread Decimator, which is currently plus six. That is equal to 3,100 body. And then you have a Vision Hero Adoration plus 600 attack points. That is going to equal 3,400. And then total, that is going to be 6,500 and then plus an Honest Neos that you have in your hand to either one of these two to bring it over that 8,000 mark. Doing 8,000 damage, really nice, really simple OTK. If you have just the resources, boom, and you have an open field, go for it. If the opponent turns it over to you, turn two, it's over. But what if they have monsters on the board already? What if they have monsters set up that you need to get over and deal that much damage? Well, I can teach you how to do it as well. It takes just one more card and for, for a little bit of overkill, and honestly, you don't necessarily even need it, but I'm gonna teach you how to do that with the next combo. This combo, what we're going to need is three cards in our hand, Emerald Seer, Solid Soldier, Emerald Seer, Stratos. And technically this does not have to be Shadow Mist. It could be any hero monster that you want to discard with Vision Hero Ferris. That's gonna be important later, but Stratos right or Shadow Mist right now, we have it just to make it really simple and we're gonna activate a bunch of its effects. So yada, yada, yada. But with these three cards, and a board full of monsters and the good to go, well, you're gonna be OT OTK in your opponent with some massive damage. So let's go ahead and get right into that. You're going to normal summon your Elemental Hero Solid Soldier, Elemental Hero Solid Soldier on the, on the board, um, allowing you to special summon from your hand your Elemental Hero Stratos. Stratos is then going to activate, doing the same thing as last combo, we're gonna add our Vision Hero Ferris from our deck to our hand. Vision Hero Ferris is also really sweet, again, can activate its effect to discard your Elements of Hero Shadow Mist from your hand to special summon out onto the board. Then you're going to again chain link one Shadow Mist, chain link two Vision Hero Ferris. So Vision Hero Ferris activating, chain link two, set in your increase or set in your increase, putting your increase in your spell and trap zone, putting that down for later. And then, and then Strato Mist, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna full lean into it. Strato Mist is going to add Honest Neos from your deck to your hand. Again, getting that attack boosting, very important. Next, you're going to activate Vision Hero Increases effect and you're going to tribute your Stratos this time and send that to the graveyard to special summon out from the Spell Trap Zone. Special summon out from the Spell Trap Zone. Again, Vision Hero Increases effect is going to activate. That is allowing you to get Vision Hero Vion onto the board. Apologies with the glare once again. Visioneer of Vion is going to activate then going to send to your graveyard one copy of Destiny Hero Malicious from your deck to the graveyard. Again, that extra bit of summoning out is going to be pretty sweet. Then you're going to activate Visioneer of Vion's secondary effect, and that is going to be banishing your Shadows, your Strato Mist, from your graveyard. And that's going to add in your one copy of Polymerization to your hand. Now you might be thinking to yourself, Swalax, well, of course you're going to go into Vision Hero Trinity now. Trinity is going to be using these three monsters, getting yourself um, into a big body and going to swing over three times of their monsters. Of course, of course. Well, not quite. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to be banishing Destiny Hero Malicious from our graveyard, especially about the second copy of Destiny Hero Malicious from our deck. So now we have a board full of monsters, five monsters here on the board. And we're going to be using them uh, to go into our Link Monsters first and then we're going to be going into our bigger body so go ahead and activate your vision hero or use your vision hero increase in your destiny hero malicious and go into your extra hero cross crusader cross crusader is then going to activate and you're going to especially back out your destiny hero malicious from your graveyard so now what you can do is that you can now polymerize polymerize as i said polymerize your three cards 
from your uh, from your from your field. So you can do uh, Elemental Hero Solid Soldier, Destiny Hero Malicious, and Vision Hero Vion. It's important you get Elemental Hero Solid Soldier inside of this Fusion Summon right here because you can activate its effect. But we're gonna go ahead and go into the big body himself, aka Vision Hero trinity vision hero trinity is a large monster 2500 attack points but what happens when it's fusion summoned then you can add 2500 attack points on top of that doubling its attack making it 5000 which is huge not only that due to its name of course or uh not due to its name whatever it can attack three times it can make a second and third attack during battle phase it can't attack directly they be a little bit too op but it can help get you over those big bodies those big monsters now what's interesting to know is because we use polymerization on solid soldier we can activate solid soldiers effect and that allows us special back stratos from our graveyard to the field and stratos not being a once per turn effect can now search or pop cards on your opponent's side of the field so you could potentially pop three hero because you have three hero monsters you can pop three spells and trap cards non-targeting removal or you can get an extra search which is why the first uh, here monster you discard did not have to be shadow mist because then you could use this surge to get honest neos to your hand and so on and so forth but you can help set up for next turn you can help pop cards in the field just to help clear your board so shadows on the board you can now non-targeting clear three spells and trap cards from your opponent's field and then you're going to be linking away cross crusader and elemental hero stratos from your field to your big body link three dread decimator dread decimator aka dread decimator is one of the best cards for this otk because it adds one two three four five six six hundred attack points to our hero monsters that it points to so 600 is at 31 600 is at 5600 and also plus 600 this is at 2200 so piercing damage 3100 body it can attack three times a five thousand a five excuse me a five thousand six hundred body boosted by honest neos making it a whopping eight thousand one hundred body and then a 2200 beater just for safekeeping but if you guys did not kill your opponent with eight thousand one hundred damage swinging three times then i don't know what to tell you that you know you didn't do it with the piercing damage you didn't do it with the 3000 piercing damage and the 8000 three times ridiculous but this combo is super fun i've only pulled it off a few times to be honest but it's uh, every single time it is so rewarding you don't necessarily even need this combo too often but it's really easy to get it doesn't really take a lot and it's so satisfying to just bam pop your opponent's monsters one by one three times with trinity just for the otk it comes in so clutch honestly you don't even necessarily need that if you have a 5,000 body on board and they have a couple monsters out you're gonna be taking damage left and right but this is just to do massive amounts of damage and to make sure you can swing over absolutely everything but that's gonna be it for the combo kitchen let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below if you guys like this video make sure to leave a like if you want some more please subscribe to my videos come to the pipeline so stay tuned for that if you want to but yeah let me know what you guys think of this combo you guys like it do you guys hate it do you want to see more combos from the heroes remember if this video gets 50 likes i'll drop a secret hero video i've been working on that you guys have been begging practically begging me to talk about recently <laughs> so i will be uploading that sometime soon but hopefully you guys like this video i'll see you guys next time peace out